Hello guys, Mehul here back again with another new video and today's video again for developers and this is specifically related to animation so let's get started with it. So we have plenty of libraries when it comes to web animation but here is something that I have found out today and it's great. First of all it's easy, it's uh, short uh, when you are writing the syntax are short and easy to understand no complex uh, coding required and i think anyone can start it and this is basically javascript based library so let's get started with it okay so i'm not gonna teach you in this tutorial like, this is not some kind of tutorial so i'm not gonna teach you all of those things but you can uh, i will give you a short overview i you can figure it out i know so here you can see uh basically uh first of all their website is pretty pretty much great because all of those animation you are seeing right now those are all made by this so you are you what i have said earlier is that this is shockingly simple this one line of code is making this not this in particular but we will see what it is making and size matters as i have said already this and uh, this uh, obviously this library is really really little very short like 3.1 kb you can see it here motion once animate function is just 3.1 kb so yeah it's short so it will give less load to your animations and max performance one of the great thing that they are using that they are applying hardware acceleration as well so this is something new that I have uh, observed for this particular JS library that they are using hardware acceleration as well. And there are many poor and some of them are coming soon. So uh, without uh, like without uh, wasting time here in this landing page, let me show you some of the examples that is already available in their documentation. So here we go. And here are basic installation guide and all. So uh, check it out yourself. We will directly go to the animate API. Okay, so here is our animate API. So there are three th three things: keyframe, options, and return. So let's first see example one example. Wait, wait. Where are those examples? Okay, examples are in quick start. Yep. So examples are in quick start, but obviously you have to no animate api and no all of the stuffs to get started so let's just see the example for now so here you can see uh, a simple little code and this will animate this and to be honest their animate uh, animations are soothing like uh, not rough man means you can control everything but they have a slight, slight ease out like a little bit smoothing animation whatever uh, like whenever in after effects you uh, edit the graph or like edit your animation speed in the graph editor it's like that like there is a subtle moment okay here as well here another example so those are those examples so great library Try it out yourself and let me know if you like it or not. I'm gonna try it for sure, for sure, because I liked it too much. And let's use it in some of the React apps, React developments, maybe that will look good, obviously. So I will obviously use it, and then maybe in future, I will uh, what I will share with you guys a review kind of thing not review but i will share a short a, a youtube short where i uh, where i will give a little bit review of it that would be fun right so that's it that's basically it for this video if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to my channel if, if you know about some of the great resources like this open source apis anything and by the way this is open source mit license so 
you can get it for free obviously so if you know about some of the cool stuffs like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below so i can feature them in my future videos so bye for now Thank you.